Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our tutorial on how to create a microservice based web application using Node.js. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to configure our application with MLab. But the question is, what is MLab? Basically, MLab is a cloud platform to host MongoDB database. In a nutshell, MLab is a database as a service for MongoDB. It's an amazing service which we can save our, our data when, he, when we work with MongoDB databases. So, it means that to follow along with this tutorial, you don't need to have any installation of MongoDB in your computer because we we use MongoDB in the cloud. Nice? So, to use MLab, you need to go to this website, mlab.com, and here you need to create an account. To create an account is simple. You only need to click the sign up button, and here you 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 will create your account. Nice. After you create your account, it's time to log in. When you log in, this is the first scene that you will see. Here, we can create databases to our project. So, let's create a new database to our book service. To create a database, you only need to click in this create new button here at the top, this one. And to create a database here on MLab, we need to select which is our cloud provider. In my case, will be Amazon. And here, you need to select your plan in MLab. MLab has a free plan. I will select it. Select it. Sorry. All right. Now let's click in this continue button. And here, let's select an AWS region. In my case, I will select US East. And I will click in continue. Now to finish. We need to set a name to our database. In my case, I will call this database of books service. Each service of our application will have your single database. All right. So let's click in continue and let's click on sub submit order. Let's wait. It may take a time. And that's it. Now we can click in this database to create a new admin user to manipulate this database. To create a new admin user, we need to go to this user tab and here you need to click in this add database user. In my case, I will call this database user of Eduonix and the database password, I will put the classic password. All right. One minute. And that's it. That is our admin user to manipulate our database. Now it's time to connect our application to this database here in the cloud. 
to do it is 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 pretty simple all right we all need to get into our application and we need to load mongoose mongoose is the module that will connect our application on our database on the cloud so to load mongoose is so easy i will create a const i will call it of mongoose and it will receive the module mongoose after that i will use the function mongoose dot connect to connect my application to one database so to connect your application in mlab you only need to go to this user user tab and here you need to copy this link here this is the link to connect your application to your uh, database all right so you only need to paste it here but to to it work you need to put here your admin user in my case it's edunix and your password your admin password in my case is the classic password all right and this this link here will you will, will connect our our application our book service to our database in the cloud so let's test it out all right i will close it and i will test it oops it's me getting uh, an error and the 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 error is authentication failed and it's because i I put here the, the wrong password, sorry. Let me close it. And let me run it again. And that's it. As we, we made here with this callback, you can do it in this connective function. We can receive a callback here if this callback is executed with the success our database is connected all right and that's it database is connected so it's basically it to connect our book service our application to our MongoDB database in the cloud. In the next lesson, we are gonna develop how the structure of the book service, all right? So I hope you enjoy, and if you like, let me know in the comment sections below and subscribe to the channel.